Right, off to Bath for the final race of day one. Ten for a maiden for three years and up. One is Cajole, Neil Mack. Two, Classic Mode, Alex Cherry. Three, Darling Lady, Dave Hoovey. Four, Fraser Project, Marcus Scala. Five, Fruitful Beach, Steve C. Six, Hope Springs, Kevin Minigan. Seven, Just Right, Obi One, A. Chicane. Four, Rhodes. Nine, Across Ken Ocean, David Thompson. Ten is Alberth Kitchenell. Craig Allen, 11 is Hope Swell, Dan Hughes, 12 is Lady Japan, CDJ Leggett, 13 Queen of the Desert, Marty Leadham, 14 Ryan Memorum, David Runch, and 15 Sharona for James Shea. At the start, and away they go in the last race of the day. A good break by most, although Alex Cherry's classic mode is slightly slow away, maybe by design, because that's when trying to tuck it at the back of the field, and it's just right. For Obi Wan, who goes to lead this in those yellow colours. From Darling Lady for Dave Rudy back in second. Two lengths back to uh, Kevin Minnick's Hope Spring. Far four in a line behind that. On the inside of the horses, Hope Swell. Fruitful Beach, Dave C is just behind. Steve C just behind that. Uh, moving past those now is Everworth Gettinel. Being pushed along to improve position. Just cross Ken Ocean. Two lengths back to the yellow colours of Raya Memorum. That's Darren French's. On the inside, that's Michael Scholar's Freezer Project. On the rail is Chicane. That's Paul Rhodes's horse. Moving in. Past those is Queen of the Desert for Martin Leadham. Then comes Alex Cherry's uh, classic mode. On the outside of that is uh, Kajol, uh, well, his Lady Japan. At the back of the field, being pushed along already is Kajol. That's Neil Max horse. Darling Lady leads them. Three lengths clear of Just Right in second. Then comes Everworth Gettinol for Craig Allen. Moving in between horses is Hope Springs. On the rail is Hope Swell for Dan Hughes. In between horses is um, a fruitful beach for Steve C. Out wide is... Uh, Dar uh, Darren Thompson's cross Ken Ocean. They turn for home. Four furns left to travel. It's Darling Lady leads him. Kevin Minigan's horse Hope Springs travelling well. Moving close now is Hope Swell. Also trying to get going is cross Ken Ocean and a fruitful beach. Still the leader with three furns left to go. Dave Hoodie's Darling Lady leads them. From Hope Springs in second. Then comes fruitful beach and cross Ken Ocean. On the outside here comes Alberth Gittinel for Craig Allen. And it's Alberth Gittinel who's come to pick it up. From uh, Darling Lady running strongly now is the chicane for Paul Rose. Also out wide Marcus Scarlett's freezer project. And there, also there's Lady Japan. It's Eleanor Everworth getting out for Craig Allen who starts to draw away. Here comes Freezer Project for Marcus Scar also running on strongly as Grasky and Ocean. But it's Alberth getting out with half a fill to go. Freezer Project is finishing strongly also. Pretty horses is Grasky and Ocean. Alberth getting on needs the line and might have held on from well, a fast finishing Freezer Project. Grasky and Ocean just behind that in third. And it doesn't look like. Even though it's his second string horses, Craig Allen's horses have deteriorated much. Alberth Gettinol wins that from Freezer Project for Michael Scholar. Another good run, one of his horses. Cross Ken Ocean, Darren Thompson back in third. Hope Swell threatened, but then faded away for Dan Hughes. Hope Springs also moved forward, but then a challenge petered out for Kevin Minigan. And Classic Mode running from the back of the field for Alex Cherry to finish in sixth place.